Okay, so now we're going to uh, take a look at um, what's the derivative of uh, the exponential functions. You know, functions like, um, you know, for example, 4 to the x, um, you know, 7 to the x, um, e to the x, the natural exponential. What's the derivative of uh, functions like that? Um, so let me draw a, uh, a picture here uh, before we go through this. So uh, this guy, you know, if I draw the general exponential function, um, it looks something like uh, this. Now, since we don't know what it is, why don't we find the, um, the derivative using the uh, definition? So um, the derivative of a to the x is now, uh, you remember the definition of the derivative, right? Okay, so that's the limit as h goes to 0 of, um, why don't I write it down up here? So the derivative is the limit as h approaches 0 of uh, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so then I'm, what I'm going to have is the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the x plus h minus a to the x over h. Okay, so, um, you know, if you look at this, uh, if I obviously if I uh, plug in zero, I get zero over zero, which is an indeterminate form. Um, now, what I want to do then is uh, try to figure out some algebra to do here. So um, notice that um, a to the x plus h. Let me write that right here. A to the x plus h. That's the same as a to the x times a to the h by the laws of exponents. So then um, what you can do is you can rewrite this guy as the limit as h approaches 0. Of You can take out a to the x because it's common to both of those guys. And then you would have a to the h minus 1 all over h. Now, uh, notice also, though, that a to the x doesn't depend on h at all. And so you can take that a to the x outside of the limit. Now, if this guy had an h in it, then you wouldn't be able to. But because you're going um, the limit, you're taking the limit as h goes to 0, this guy can be taken out. So then you would have a to the x times the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the h minus 1 all over h. Okay, now um, this guy, um, our problem is we need to find this guy right here. And um, one thing to notice though is that um, this guy right here, so if um, f of x, my function, is a to the x, notice that this guy right here is equal to the derivative at 0. So this guy is a uh, constant. This guy is just the derivative at 0. So notice if you use the definition, for x equals to 0 of this function, you would get exactly that. OK, now um, we don't, we aren't able to explain this yet. But this is actually equal to natural log of whatever that uh, constant a is. OK, so for now, you, you know, you just have to trust me. But later on, I'll show you um, where this one comes about because we don't know enough to uh, prove it. Um, 
Now, one uh, thing to note, so let me uh, write this down. Let's go down here. So then what, what that gives us is that the, the derivative of an exponential function, a raised to the x, where a is a constant, is equal to a to the x times natural log of a. Okay, so that's the first one. But then also notice that the derivative of e to the x, so remember e, the special number, 2.71, blah, 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 um, is equal to itself, just like this guy, but then what's natural log of e? Well, that's just equal to 1. And uh, so, you know, whoops, sorry. So this uh, function, the natural exponential, its derivative is equal to itself. And I mean, that is astonishing. That's crazy. What we're saying is that and actually this is the only function that has that property, is that, so if this guy is e to the x, for example, if you find the, um, if you find the y value at any point right here, for example, this at x equals two, this guy would be e squared. The derivative at this point, the slope of the tangent line is equal to the same exact number. At any, any, any point whatsoever, the slope of the tangent line is equal to the y value at that point. That's just nuts. But that that is what it is. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. Let's say we want to find the derivative of four times three to the x minus um, 5e to the x. Okay, so uh, notice that I've got a uh, constant here. And so uh, since I have a constant multiplying my function, I'm just going to leave that guy alone. And then the derivative of 3 to the x is itself 3 to the x times natural log of the base, which is three. So that's what that rule tells me right here. And then minus, and here I have five e to the x, so the constant, again, just stays the same, five, and then the derivative of e to the x is just itself. So that's it.